Hello, and in this segment we will show how to reverse the hinging on your Continental one section refrigerator or freezer with solid doors. It's always recommended to disconnect the power to your case before doing any repairs or modifications. To do this you should need the following, okay. a small Phillips and slotted screwdriver, standard Phillips screwdriver, putty knife, electrical tape, combination wire cutter and crimping tool, needle nose plier, two quarter inch connectors and two five sixteenths connectors. Please note that all single section cases are not able to be rehinged and to confirm you can either contact the factory with the model and serial number located on the tag on the inside wall. Another way to know if your unit is able to be field reversed is if you see an extra set of holes as well as the silver stainless steel plug button for the light switch and the lock keeper holes. That will indicate that this unit is able to be field reversed. At Continental we're always looking to improve on our products and your light switch may be in our current design in the body of the hinge or in older cases it may be in the face of the case behind the top hinge but the rehinging will be very similar. Open the door and lift the door out of the hinges and set the door to the side. At this point remove the top and bottom hinges from the front of the case and in the body of the top hinge you'll see the light switch. Once the light switch is exposed you're going to disconnect the two wires from the back of the switch. Cut the two small wire connectors off the ends of the brown wires and push the brown wire back into the switch hole. Remove the two small Phillips screws from the inside of the lock keeper and then remove the two Phillips screws that attach the keeper to the front of the case and set them to the side. Remove the Phillips screws from the opposite side as well as the silver stainless steel plug button and remount these Phillips screws into the hinge holes and keeper holes from the original hinging. Once the stainless steel plug button has been removed and located to the opposite side, take your needle nose plier, carefully remove the black lamp cord wire that's inside the hole. After the wire is removed, strip back enough wire and mount the quarter inch female connectors onto the ends of the wire. Once the connectors are inserted onto the wires, take the original light switch and push the two female connectors onto the male tabs. Now take the hinge, the top hinge, insert the light switch into the body of the hinge and remount the top, bottom hinges as well as the lock keeper. At the front of the plastic bushing, you'll see a slot Take your screwdriver, carefully lift the top and bottom hinge bushing out, spin it, and reinsert it into the body of the hinge. We're now ready to remount the door. Slide the hinge covers off the top and bottom hinge, remove the hinge from the side of the door, and reverse it facing the opposite way, and remount to the door. Take the door and place it into the hinges and open and close the door a few times to make sure that it closes by itself properly. Locate the four Phillips screws behind the front grille. Take the small Phillips screwdriver, loosen and lift out of the keyhole slots and set the grille to the side. Remove the three screws from the control box cover, remove the cover and set to the side. In the control box you'll see the black lamp cord wire with a tag attached giving you the instructions on how to change the wiring on the terminal block. Take the black lamp cord wire, strip back the two wires and mount the two 5 16 female connectors on the ends. Now I'm going to locate the two brown wires on the terminal block from the original light switch position. Remove the two brown wires 
and insert the two black wires in their place. Now take the two brown wires, tape up the ends with the electrical tape, push to the side, and remount the control box cover. Remount the grill into the four keyhole slots and tighten the four Phillips screws at the back of the grill. Restore power to your cabinet. Open the door a few times to make sure that the light goes on and off. I hope this information was helpful and if you need additional information please contact the factory or you can download the operation manuals from our website www.continentalrefrigerator.com.